everybody. Test. How's this? Is that working? Okay. We've got a challenge today. We have 10 minutes to deliver upon the Paris Agreement goals. Yeah, that's all. Think you can do that? 10 minutes? Let's get this up here on the screen. I'm going to show you. We're going to do it in a simulation model. The only way to explore the future is with a simulation. So we've created a mathematical simulation that we call En-ROADS. And it was built with this team that's over here. Raise your hand, rest of your team, out of MIT and MUSE. And in a second, it's going to pop right up here. Here it comes. So start thinking, what are the actions that we need to take to deliver upon limiting warming to no more than two degrees with an effort to get at 1.5? We're going to give you 10 minutes. Uh, we've been doing this recently for the Congress. Congress people, they get an hour and a half, a little bit more time to actually dig in. Some of the students the other day, we actually gave them, uh, they had a two and a half hour session as part of the game. Um, we're... Oh, here it is. All right. So here's the world that we're starting with. Um, I'm going to get the... All right. So here's the world. This is a world that is not going to happen because you're going to make it different. But let's start there. Here's a world of coal in brown going from 2000 to 2100. Coal in brown growing and growing. Red is oil. Blue is natural gas. There's green. Wind and solar growing strong, but not quite as big as it would need to be. Nuclear is down here. Overall, this is all the greenhouse gas pollution. The brown area is energy CO2. There's methane. There's N2O. There's F gases. There's land use CO2. Overall, we get 4.1 degrees. Do we want 4.1 degrees? No. What do we want? <laughs> Two or 1.5 or below. Okay, so here we go. One action that can get us along the way. Mr. Ali, what do you got? Uh, it looks like we've got a lot of really dirty outputs. Can we, uh, can we accelerate the rate at which we can get the bad stuff out of the dirty outputs? So can we get the bad stuff out? Which bad stuff? Coal, oil, gas? Uh, the, 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 the emissions from all of them. The, the CO2, the methane. Great. The methane. The methane. So there's a lot of sources over here. We're starting with methane. So I want to go right here and click right there. Did you see the blue area shrink? Do you see the blue area shrink? Many equations ran really, really fast there. This model is different in that ability. It got us down. Hit it again. Watch what happens. See the blue area? Methane shrinking from 4.1 to 3.6. Methane matters a lot. Okay, somebody else. What else do we need to do beyond methane? Stop deforesting. Stop deforesting. Indonesia, Brazil. Bolsonaro's trend going the opposite direction. Click right there and watch the green area shrink. See it go from 3.6 to 3.5. Did it save the world? No. Did it help? Yeah. It's not a silver bullet. It's part of silver buckshot. It's not a silver bullet. Less deforestation, that is less burning trees for agriculture, is part of silver buckshot. What else? Decarbonization. How do you want to decarbonize? Trees, we just did the trees? Electric cars. Electric cars, he said. Right here, electrification. Okay, let's electric, so crank it way up there. Before I do it, think. 3.5 is going to go where? Don't do it yet. 3.5 is going to go where? 2.4. Wouldn't that be amazing? Hit it. Watch what happens. Let's run it a couple more times. It's supposed to get rid of oil. Watch the red line of oil goes down. Where does the world get new electricity, however? Coal. coal. The brown line of coal goes up. Do it again and we'll watch the little movie. Oh. Darn it! What did we forget to do, people? We forgot to decarbonize first. We need a carbon price. Or we need pressure on the fossil fuel industry to keep the coal, oil, and gas in the ground. So when we electrify, the electricity will come from zero carbon energy. Crank it up right there. Let's get a carbon price. It's the simplest way to do this. Watch the huge shift. Whoa. Do it again. So actually do it, undo it all the way and then just do it all the way at once. So crank it up and then redo it. Which line moves the most? Coal. Coal. The most carbon dense fuel is the most sensitive to a carbon price. It basically kills coal 
temperature down to 2.5 degrees C, and then that electrification actually helps because you're powering up with clean energy there with all that green renewables that grew. What else do we need to do? Nuclear. nuclear. So what if we crank up nuclear right here? Here we have nuclear. If we, boom, the blue line goes up. What will be the long-term zero carbon energy supply? Will it be uranium nuclear? Will it be wind and solar? Will it be some new technology like thorium fission? You notice, what did it do to wind and solar? So it's basically killed wind and solar a good bit and it took over. So this is another path. It has its own costs. All right, what else? Grow more trees. Photosynthesis pulls carbon out of the atmosphere, shoves it in the soil. Let's crank it up. Some people think there could be a lot of it. Let's see how much, watch how it moves. 2.4 goes to 2.4. It helps, but not a full 0.1 degree. It is part of the silver buckshot, however. It can pull some more out of the atmosphere. What else? We're getting so close. 2.4. Okay, hold on a sec. Yes, in the back. Buildings. buildings. What about buildings? Let's make them more efficient. Insulate. Let's retrofit. Let's put better lighting up in, in old buildings like this. Crank it up and watch. Okay. Hit, hit, the, hit the redo button again. Yeah, so crank it up once and hit the redo button and watch what it does. You just need less fuel <laughs> all sorts of fuel because we get much more efficient what else what else could help here so over here airplanes so transportation less airplanes more efficient transport what if we crank that up energy efficiency and transport in the same way run it again replay it two degrees oh but what did they say the paris agreement was well below two degrees what else could we do Population. They say that educating women and girls leads to lower fertility rates around the world, and perhaps instead of the middle UN projection, we may see something closer to the low projection. Let's imagine that future. What if that happened? And it happened even more, Travis, all the way down there. Oh, two. We're still at two. We're still at two. What else could we do? Do you notice this? There's no silver bullet. No one of these things is saving the day. What is the last thing we can do to get all the way down? Technological. Technological. Over here, this is carbon removal. There are all of these new ideas. If we don't till the soil, we retain more carbon in agricultural soil. There's new ideas of these dehumidifier things called direct air capture or bioenergy carbon capture and storage. Mineralization, where you crush up rocks and it sucks it out of the atmosphere. Biochar. So let's crank some of that up. What if we have some more of that? We don't know how to do it yet. If we did, 1.7. Give yourself a hand. 1.7 degrees. How do you feel? Tired. 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 All right, folks. He says I have two minutes. We're going to take 60 seconds. We're going to have absolute silence. And I want you to imagine what it would feel like to be part of not that world that we've been so concerned about, but what would it feel like to be like part of this world? To find a place, wherever you are, to contribute to this. The man with the clock is going to tell me when a minute is up.
my friends, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be worth it. Go get them. The model's right here. We're going to release it soon. It's free. There's a game. Go download it when it's available. Go get them. That was